In this video, I'll show you how you can set up a moving platform that will work with a rigid body controller or a character controller. So let's get started. I'm going to work with this cube. And currently this cube just has a box collider and also a rigid body. It's set to is kinematic because I'm moving this object. But if you just have a moving object and you don't do anything to it, the object just moves and you just fall off it. And that's not what we're looking for. What we're trying to do is make it so that when you land on that object, you actually move with that object. The solution that I'm going to show in this video is going to be real simple. So what I'm going to do is go and add another component to this moving cube and it's going to be a box collider, but I'll set this one to a is trigger. Now I want to position this one just on top. So let's set it to 0.5 and I'll set the Y size to 0.5 and the X and Z values are going to be 0.8. That way, if the character lands on the edge, he is still going to fall down. After you add that box collider trigger, now we can create the logic. So go to added graph. I'll be showing the setup with Bolt, but you can do the same thing in C sharp. For the character to be able to stand on a moving platform, what we're going to do is on trigger enter and we're checking for that trigger that we just added. I'm going to do a check for attack and make sure that the object that triggered this trigger is actually a player. There's the if statement or branch. If the trigger was triggered by a player, then I want to set the parent of that player. So instead of self, I want to get the transform object of the player and set the parent to self so that the player becomes the child of a moving platform. Now this logic is going to work whenever you get on a platform, but when you try to get off a platform, we need to add similar logic. So first we can copy this and instead of on trigger enter, we're going to do on trigger exit. And the only difference here is we want to get rid of the parent. So just remove self. It shows a warning. Non is not an option, but it actually is a valid option. And that's it. Just by doing that, we should be able to jump on the smoothing platform and stay on it. And then if we want to get off, we can just run off. Or the other option is when you jump off, he gets out of the platform. Now this player is controlled by a character controller. Now let me demonstrate the same thing with a rigid body. And this character is now controlled by a rigid body. So I can get on that platform just like I did before. So there you go. That's a quick setup that you can do for a moving platform. Just add a box collider that is set to trigger on the top of the moving platform. And whenever that trigger is triggered, then you can set the player to be a child of a moving platform. Once you exit that trigger, you set the parent back to none. If you found this video helpful, click on the like button, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.